This week I attempted to make what I was thinking would be a simple bandsaw box. What turned into a less than simple bandsaw box because of a blade break. You want to see how I did it? Stay tuned. I started out with a piece of oak that I had lying around, along with the walnut that I used for splines in my picture frame. Cutting the oak and the walnut to size over at the miter saw, then I proceeded to glue up the pieces, alternating the oak and walnut. When gluing up projects like this, I like to make sure that there's glue on each side of each piece, then I spread it around with a scrap piece of wood. Once the block had dried, I took it back over to the miter saw to square up some of the edges. I could then begin to mark some of the lines to cut out over at the bandsaw. I had already loaded my bandsaw with an eighth inch bandsaw blade. That might have been where my problems began. I then proceeded to cut a small sliver off of the block that was going to act as my back. I then went to cut out the drawer portion of the bandsaw box and I don't know if I was twisting the blade too much or just stressing it too much, but that's when it snapped. Being this was my last eighth inch bandsaw blade, I had to move on to plan B. I then loaded my bandsaw with a quarter inch blade and cut off a couple of the curves that I had already made. I basically was going to cut off the top, bottom, and then both sides and end up making somewhat of a square bandsaw box. I head over to the belt sander and just kind of true up some of the surfaces and make sure they're smooth and that they can be glued together nicely. I then took my center section that was going to act as my drawer, put some marks on it, and cut out the main portion. Once I had that piece cut, I could then glue on the front and back of the drawer. And apparently during this process, I was going for the world's worst camera angle. I threw it in some clamps. Then once it was dried, I could take the box portion back to the belt sander and smooth up some of the surfaces. Here you can see the beginning, and then after the belt sander, it's nice and smooth and the glue lines almost disappear. Then I turn my focus to the outer portion of the bandsaw box, gluing up the sides, top and bottom. The bottom piece was still the same length as the original curved bandsaw box, so I just took it over to the miter saw and cut off the excess material. Then it was back to the belt sander again to try and make some of the surfaces smooth. Also at this point, I sanded down the inner drawer portion so that it fit nicely in the outer shell. Once that was all smooth, then I could glue on the back. And back to the belt sander once again. I don't know if this is so much a bandsaw box or a testing the belt sander for durability box. But either way, during glue up I made sure that the walnut stripes lined up as best as I could get them. I then took a foam pad with some 150 grit sandpaper around it and knocked off some of the sharp corners. Once everything was good and fitting nicely, I hit it with a few coats of spray lacquer. I could then drill out the center of the drawer for a drawer pull, but then I couldn't get a regular screwdriver in there, which makes it handy to have one of these 90 degree ratcheting screwdrivers. I had a thin piece of black foam left over from another project. So I just basically cut it down to size, threw on a couple dabs of wood glue, and pressed it in place. That was going to act as a nice little drawer liner. There you go. A bandsaw box that, I don't know if I'd even necessarily call a bandsaw box with how many changes I had to make to it, but sometimes you have to adapt to things like blades breaking. I still think it turned out pretty nice, and it's actually a gift for my five-year-old son, and I think he's going to enjoy it. It's going to be kind of a keepsake box for, well, whatever keepsakes a five-year-old has. I also wanted to announce that my website is kind of revamped and it's new, nickferry.com. I also have my Nick Ferry t-shirts for sale on there and also a newsletter that you can sign up for. I'm going to be doing a giveaway to where anyone that signs up between now and next week's video is entered to win a free Nick Ferry shirt. So get over to nickferry.com, sign up for the newsletter, and uh, I'll draw a, a name out of the list next week. Well, until I see you next week, have a good one.